Welcome back to the shop. Today, we're going to be repairing an Ethan Allen Chancellor chair. This chair was brought into the shop with a broken front left leg, and the stretchers that connected to the back and the front were extremely loose. Our first objective was to try and determine what caused the break, and it was clearly caused by the screw that was installed by the manufacturer attaching the leg. It's too far gone to try and repair it, so we're going to need to replace it. So we'll put the leg of the chair into a vise, cut off that broken section, and then go through the process of making a repair or a replacement for that end piece. We find a one inch dowel, bring it over the disc sander, sand it down to 11 sixteenths where it inserts into the chair, and 13 sixteenths where it mounts to the original part of the leg. After checking it a couple of times with the calipers to make sure we have a good fit, We'll bring it back to the bench and begin the repair. So what we've done is we cut off the broken portion of the dowel. So now we have a nice flat surface to work from. I cut it with the handsaw, then ran it over to the sander just to get a nice flat surface. And then the work that we did at the disc sander, we had that one inch dowel that we turned down to 11 sixteenths at the ends and 13 sixteenths at the outside edge. Oops. We will now glue this onto the end of the dowel, like so. Let that sit overnight, and then when we come back, we'll actually drill a hole down through the center with a smaller 5 16 inch dowel to actually make that connection and for it to glue. And then we'll insert it into the chair. The glue up for this is going to be a little bit tricky because we're going to, so it doesn't slip and slide around. So we're going to use a pipe clamp and get some tight bond tube glue. And I'm going to apply that to the leg itself. And then I'll also apply it to the piece of dowel that we just cut. This is end grain on the dowel, so it's going to absorb the moisture from the glue. So I'm going to use a lot of it to make sure I get a good glue surface on here. All right. So first up, We'll align the leg. And we slide in our piece. Get as close to where we want it as possible. And then we're going to tighten the clamp. I'm going to check to make sure I get an even reveal all the way around. do. Let's tighten that up. We're going to let this sit overnight to allow that glue to harden. And then we'll come back and reshape it and then get this chair back together again. With that glue up complete, it's now time to make the final connection between the original chair leg and the piece we just made. We insert a 5 16 inch brad point bit into the drill, use the speed square as a guide to keep the drill straight, use a piece of masking tape to mark off the drill where we want to stop, and drill a 2 to 2 half inch hole down to the end of the chair leg. We're then going to insert a 5 16 inch dowel into the hole. Prior to gluing it up, and putting it in the hole, what we'll do is we'll put a saw cut down to the middle of the dowel, just a narrow, small one, so the glue has a place to go as we insert it and drive it into the end of the chair leg. So now, using a PVA glue, we apply it to the dowel, into the hole itself, and then gently drive it down into the end of the leg of the chair and make that solid connection. We'll sit and let that dry, and then we'll cut off the excess piece from the dowel. 
Before making the final glue connections, we need to make sure we go through and remove all the old glue from the ends of the, ends of the dowels of the chair and the holes. While doing that, I noticed this middle structure was extremely loose. So using my clamp trick, I popped that off, cleaned off the excess glue, and now I'm going to be applying high glue to the ends of the stretchers as well as into the holes that are going to receive those stretchers. I use high glue in most of my furniture restorations for a couple of reasons. One, when you're making multiple glue connections, it gives you an extended dry time. So you have a little bit more time to work with the pieces before the glue starts to set. The second reason is when you're making repairs to furniture, you want to think about that next generation of furniture restorers. That hide glue has a benefit. That if you've made a mistake or you need to make a repair, hide glue can be softened with either water or heat. So future generations, if this chair needs to be repaired again in the distant future, won't have any difficulty with removing the glue that was there and then making their connection. I highly discourage anyone from using any of the polyurethane glues or Gorilla glues that are on the market today because they're really just not suited for using for furniture restoration. I recommend either using high glue or a PVA glue like a Type 1 2. If it's going to be a, a water situation, you'd want to use a Type 1 3, but typically I will always use a high glue when making those connections. I apply the glue. I use an acid brush to ensure that I get a good solid um, circle around my dowel ends as well as the inserts. And then gently start to reassemble, making a gentle tap with the rubber mallet where I need to, to drive them in. And then we're going to take our new piece that we just repaired, insert that into the stretcher that comes up, and then into the dowel, into the seat of the chair itself. One of the things you may notice is that I'm not using the metal fastener that the original the manufacturer did. The glue, the high glue, will be strong enough for generations to come. We'll now set this in clamps, let it sit overnight, and make our final repairs. The glue is complete. We'll now use a chisel to hone back the end of the dowel to match the other three legs of the chair. Do a touch up with some stain, and then get this chair back to the customer. If you have any questions on the process or methods that we used in this repair or any of our repairs, please comment below. Like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for tuning in to A.G. Johnson & Son Furniture Restoration.